Who's ready for some apple K? Welcome to The Sewing Report, I'm Jennifer Moore, helping you discover your love of sewing crafts and DIY projects. If you're new here, consider subscribing and tap the bell to get notified about all new videos and live streams. And in this episode, we are going to be going over the basics of doing an applique design on an embroider machine, I am using the Brother PE800, my trusty sidekick here in the sewing room. This video was actually suggested by one of you, so thank you very much and keep those ideas coming. So let's get into it. We're taking the sewing report logo that I had digitized through an Etsy seller. I imported the design into the machine on a USB drive and the LCD touchscreen gives you lots of options from resizing to moving, rotating and changing thread colors. Let's get this needle threaded. The first color up is black and I'm showing you this up close and personal. So hopefully this helps put it through one and two and then put it through this guide here down into the left. There's a little hook within the machine nested in there and you're going to need to catch your thread on it before pulling it down. There's another thread guide right above the needle. Make sure your needle is in the highest position possible. Pull it through this auto thread cutter guide, push the lever down and it automatically threads the needle for you. If you'd like to see more basics on this particular embroidery machine, I've got another video walking you through the Brother PE800 from start to finish. I chose quilting cotton for this project onto a five by seven inch hoop with tearaway stabilizer on the back. Hoop the fabric and tighten the screw. Because this is woven and not textured, no topper is really needed, so I'm not using one. With applique, the first step is a placement stitch to indicate where you need to put the fabric. Then comes a tacking stitch to hold down the applique. With this design, the lettering is stitched out immediately after. At this point, you will need to remove the hoop entirely and use a good pair of curved or applique scissors to trim the fabric as close as possible to those tacking stitches. Put the hoop back into the embroidery unit. Switching colors is actually pretty easy. Just remove the spool you already used and insert another one, which is pink. Then re-thread the machine like you did before. For more intricate designs, you may need to change threads quite a few times. You also have the option of applying fusible web to the applique fabric and pressing it to the backing fabric once you're finished. That would ensure the fabric doesn't shift. I did not do it for this sample since the lettering serves a similar purpose, but I would for certain projects like designs that incorporate larger areas. Next is the satin stitch, which will enclose that raw edge of the fabric entirely and give your applique a neat and polished look. Kind of a random thing, but before I went to this class on machine embroidery, I actually had no idea how appliques happened. I didn't really know anything about it, and I thought it looked a lot more complicated than it actually is. Then when I took this workshop and I saw how easy it was and how advanced the embroidery machines had come, I was literally blown away, and we did some applique in this class, and I was just so impressed that a machine could do that. I was like, okay, so you hoop the fabric and all you do is push buttons and the machine does all the work. So I'm really excited to be able to do that at home here with the Brother PE800. I hope you found this walkthrough helpful. I really just wanted to show you that doing applique on an embroidery machine is really pretty easy and simple. So I hope you give it a try. Let me know how it goes. And if you'd like to check out one of my many embroidery machines on the Brother PE800, I've got lots to choose from. I'm Jennifer Moore for The Sewing Report, and I'll see you guys again in the next video.